welcome to the ADV Orlando channel, where 64 degrees, especially in February, means an off-season ride. Here we are. The end of March 2024. Breaking her out and getting her ready because I'm going to start putting her up for sale. Got a lot of lint on it from the cover that's been over it all winter. But this thing fired right up for me, no problems whatsoever. I'd be glad to be selling it. Well, actually, I'm going to be totally glad to sell this because this has been such a reliable bike. It's been super uh, cool to ride. Sounds great. One of my better choices in life. But not exactly what I needed in a big bike. Early. And everything I wanted. If you're interested in this bike already, for a greater appreciation of the sound and the rumble of this bike, I advise that you listen to this video through a speaker that has good bass sound to it. The rumble is one of my favorite parts of this bike, and my wife likes it too, but uh, the 2009 Honda Goldwing checks all the box for uh, both of us as far as a touring bike, so I'm going to sell this. I originally bought this bike just to learn how to ride a larger bike. And I uh, didn't pay a whole lot of money for it on uh, Craigslist. But I found it to have such a really good ride on roads like this and out on the interstate that I really did wonder if I ever would get an upgrade as far as big bikes go. And as I rode this bike and uh, grew to like it more and more, my search for either a Harley uh, Electric Glide or a Honda Goldwing or something along those lines was still on the radar for me. I eventually found a pretty good deal on a 2009 uh, Honda Goldwing and my wife and I both love it and that's the bike for us. So this is going uh, to some lucky buyer. It cruises on the interstate so effortlessly. The uh, fifth gear is really high so you, you can find yourself doing 80 miles an hour all day and not really working the bike that hard. Even riding through twisties like this is an enjoyable ride with this bike. But as long as you stick with a grade of road that has painted lines like this, you're definitely going to enjoy yourself. After buying my Goldwing, I found this bike sitting an awful lot. But after moving some things around in the garage, I'd always managed to get it back out, ride it, and uh, I always enjoyed it every time. It always started faithfully, very reliable bike, and uh, very comfortable to ride. 
but I uh, just didn't have as much as what the Gold Wing has, and it was uh, important for me to have the things that I got with the Gold Wing. My wife would agree with that as well. But the only real negative thing about this bike, and I've got to be completely honest, is in a parking lot it can be a little bit heavy and top top heavy and kind of hard to maneuver. But a simple practice drills inside of an empty parking lot is all that's needed to really become proficient with this and to handle it real well. Uh, and that's the same with any bike really. And if you're going to get a different bike, and if you've got a bike a lot like this, you might not need that. But uh, this, the, the, the uh, parking lot maneuverability is the only thing I'd say is a negative about this bike. Everything else is pretty good. It just doesn't have the features that I get with the gold ring. This bike does have a nice, powerful ride to it, but it is in no ways near a sport bike as far as performance goes. The kind of power that makes you hold on to your uh, handlebars for dear life is not what you'll, the experience you'll get out of this machine, but it is definitely the uh, perfect cruiser, in my opinion, as far as uh, you know, having a nice, smooth ride, a nice, cool look, and a great sound. My wife and I both were toying with the thought of maybe just keeping this bike. I'll have the V-Strom, I'll have the Goldwing, but every now and then we'd be able to ride this cool cruiser. But um, now that I've fallen in love with dual sport and the really true adventure off-roading that I'll be able to do with a dual sport, once I get that bike, I just can't justify having four bikes. So uh, this definitely has to go. There's just not enough room for it. So if you're interested in this, uh, reach out to me on my channel uh, in the comment section and uh, we'll find a way to talk uh, further from there. In the meantime, ride safe, ride often, and enjoy whatever it is that you have to ride. And always remember to ride what you have whenever you can, wherever the road takes you.